Well, this is the scene where the woman was the most critically hurt. She was shot in the face here. However, uh, it's unclear the exact circumstances that led up to this barrage of bullets being fired on this street corner. Uh, we do know that uh, the calls for victims shot were happening almost simultaneously across Brooklyn overnight. Here on the corner of Bristol Street and Lot Avenue, it seems to be the most violent of them all. Of all the instances, most of the victims were told are expected to recover. However, that 23 year old woman is now fighting to survive at this hour. The gun violence coming two nights after the mayor lifted the curfew put in place in the wake of looting and riots happening in the city and a 12th night of peaceful protesting. However, with a recent dramatic spike in shootings and murders in New York, the police commissioner is dealing with calls to defund the police department. He told us it is certainly a slippery slope to go down. However, he accepts that some reform needs to be made. Faith leaders told us today it takes an effort on everyone's part to affect change. It's a tough neighborhood, but I'm just saying, I, I would just like for us, you know, as fellow like people of color, everyone, but, you know, to come together and just, you know, let's stop the violence. Let's stop the killing of each other. Well, when it comes to for calls to defund the police department or make reforms to it, uh, the budget, of course, is about six billion dollars for the NYPD. And the mayor would not say yesterday when asked repeatedly how much of that money he actually wants to reallocate in the city and put that money back into the community, specifically focusing on youth programs. Reporting live in Brownsville, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.